typing made easy. It says it's the finest typing course in the world. So uh, read this religiously at night time and try and memorize it. It'll definitely help you through your gaming adventures. Hi guys, welcome to a let's play of myself in the Mao International Beta 2 tournament and this is round 2 and I'm playing as the Germans up against Little Chinito on USA so this is L Little Chinito's home ground advantage, he's the host and he also has chosen farmland, what he knows, obviously he's definitely going to go his best map versus myself so I'm taking a three way split as usual it's very laggy as you can see so I've got the recording on very low as well so apologies for the quality uh, of going split uh, three way <coughs> down the center didn't really split this well I didn't really want to use the assault squad leader here but I'm grenading the center uh, point my bike got stuck as well very annoying and also gonna try grenade that right hand side farmhouse over here just to get a sneaky cap to low risk play so in the center I think I'm capping capping it now with the assault squad leader whilst on the left hand side um, I don't think I get my troops in cover quick enough and I think Chinito has got it quite easily but on the right and centre I think I'm going to get them fine one with a sneaky cap in the centre also a sneaky cap and I find a flanking opportunity here there's no troops of Chinitos over there so I just run straight in there and flank them from the side over there <coughs> uh, now with the bike thinking maybe I could uh, push on further down force him to play with inventory just out here where there's a bit of a decline so when they come up I can shoot shoot them before they get to shoot at me because they have to come up the hill to fire back and they might not see me before they get shot but here comes an assault squad I'm gonna send it down to the east and try force the three cap just to pressure him a bit more I'm not sure how many he's got how many units he has there but I think I can overwhelm him with one full assault squad and as the USA you can do it at the start because the assault squad's 100 MP compared to the USA's 115 and the shotgun is out as well which meaning I can outplay him I mean outnumber him with the assault squads <coughs> uh, here comes the bike um, got stuck didn't want to keep reversing forward oh it's really annoying you should DC that it's just quite hard to DC uh, in this lag but nevertheless it's firing in a decent position now able to shoot down on the guys in the flank that's the whole yeah that's why I was trying to turn but coming onto the le left hand side just left those guys to just shoot, try to outshoot them while I was markering somewhere else but there's one guy left it seems just running in there just trying to save time, not caring to micro one unit, just running in because I know I might lose one guy but I'll get the flag quickly so going for another assault squad down the line spamming those things and at the meantime got one SMG in the back able to sneak to see what uh, Chinito is spawning and that's secure now so I'm sending some of my forces from the right uh, to better positions and also sending one to the mid for a bit of a flank so it looks like he's building more shotgunners there trying to get a grenade off as I know that's a juicy target uh, yeah, just put one behind the building there uh, something looks like it's being pressured but Chinito does a good job here whilst I was marking the other flags I just didn't notice or didn't really control the right hand side and he's got that so really nice pressure play by both of, uh, both of us I think um, I got his left and he got my right so very nice by Chinito um, so coming down center, just trying to wipe them out quickly. Um, it's not bothering my grenade because it's really slow, um, especially with Chinito's performance. His perf is pretty much one to two bars. I'm sure it's worse for him than me, but um, he's probably used to playing with one bar or two bars. So just getting slighted sight. Just running in there. And actually, this is a good example of a game where you just don't DC. All the matches with Chinito, um, really good games, but I didn't DC uh, much at all. Um, you don't really need to DC to win a game. It will help though, help with some engagements, but the macro will win in my opinion. So coming down the center, spamming the assault squads, which I find is quite a necessity for Germans at the very start to get the edge. Um, otherwise shotgunners will be entrenched and really hard to root out, but that's one advantage I think is the Germans, you can get to the assault squads really quickly at 100 MP, and if the enemy um, spam shotgunners and the shotgunners don't get into a good position, you have um, better chance with your assault squads to really dominate as half track out by Chinito so now I'm just waiting for the 2-2-2 to come a um, bit away so I'm trying to survive as long as possible until that happens but I'm happy that I've got the 2 cap I've got the cap on him at least 
while he's mowing down my troops and I forgot to take my sniper out. I think my sniper just ran straight into position there. A bit silly of me here, just ran straight into the cover of the half track. So Chinito does notice that, backs away and I think he takes me out with the uh, takes the grenade. Uh, so going 2-2-2 two 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 now, um, thinking we yeah, definitely easy shot from there. Should have, should have really destroyed that to make it explode, which will <laughs> you'll see later what happens. But um, just trying to consolidate, I guess, the centre and fire on the troops around there. There's quite a lot in there. Just behind cover now, just gonna throw the priority, throw the grenade, just keep the cap on the two the two flags. Really important to hold the flags in my opinion as long as possible. And two to two supporting, takes up Teddy Cal. And a bit silly of me, I was a bit eager beaver to really attack this flag, just sending some guys off to get line of sight. And at the same time seeing my two two two. And I didn't notice that 50 cal from <laughs> that uh, nice one Chinito takes out my guy in the half track, so really, really hard to DC that. So for definitely priority target now is that 30 cal, it's going to tear me to shreds with that assault squad if I don't take it out. Take this guy behind there first, let the AI shoot. And over here, has to be grenaded, can't really frontally assault the 50 cal. Uh, so right now waiting for the Brandons as well, trying to get more infantry use of priority, steal more, because he's really infested the left hand side here, and also he's got quite a few troops over there, so I really need more, more infantry to take a, um, to punch, punch through at this stage. See, I'm s quite sure the eastern point now is going to be destroyed soon, looking at that mini-map, so I'm going to go head for centre and head for the right this time, while he takes um, the Eastern, just really um, both of us doing um, a pretty fast job at picking the weak spots in the enemy lines and, but none of us really having really tough lines to, to break, it's quite easy to break each other's lines, just running in the centre running in the right, a bit of an awkward micro moment here, just lots of trips together a bit hard to actually DC anything in this uh, lag but uh, yep, my guys are still Picking on his spawn, but yep, no one's capping the flags right now. You see how how, how close this game is at this stage. He's got the right. I think I've got the centre for a bit, and also the right for a bit. So I need to flush him out at this stage. Nice grenade there. Does actually um, the roof does collapse on me. So Brandenburgers are out now. Now I'm going to uh, think about thinking about uh, splitting them up into into the front positions for a defensive Brandenburger launch for my um, croc defensive really because you always expect the croc uh, to come if you're fighting the USA team so it's definitely coming very soon and over there I saw a sneaky guy from Chinito I think I did notice him later on they're also using them for grenades at this stage I was in the right position at the right time uh, you definitely can't see me through that one we're now putting the Brandenburgers in forward positions, waiting for that to happen. So he's uh, Maxim come up as well. Just trying to pressure the left hand side now. Catch him off guard a bit. And just trying to put the Brandenburgers forward still. Two more here. Brandenburgs do have the weight of the cap, by the way, so okay, don't bother DCing because it's really, really laggy. As you can see, I threw that grenade first. Quite frustrating, but also a good test in uh, macro skill. So he's winning in a kill count ever so slightly. And a nasty shotgun behind that building. Very nice. Uh, I'm not going to bother microing to save that. But um, those squads in the center are doomed. Just le le let them be. Um, moving while well, moving my Brandenburgers up, so getting my P3 as well. I'm quite uh, um, confident that I could uh, counter the croc with the Brandenburgers in front. So the uh, P3 can just come out. I need something really quick to take out 50 cal, and also um, it can also bait the croc when it comes out. So take it out. We can see he'll get the croc any moment. I do have eyes on this spawn, so I know when it's coming. So I know it's coming. Coming now. Straight to the Brandenburger. Priority target. Uh, priority unit to take out the priority target. And yeah, this this is another DC. Oh, this was a DC actually. Ah, oh, that was horrible. Really, really frustrating me. 
think my uh, lucky my PC didn't die, but it did get tracked. So I did get it, nevertheless. So I do have a bit of dominance now on the field. I got two to two. I'm quite. I, f I really forgot about the 30 cal being there though. So I got the two to two. See that um, two to two didn't actually get crewed, even though I clicked on it. It's clicking on it twice sometimes in the lag. It's frustrating. Definitely frustrating. So just waiting for my assault squad to come up and I'm gonna crew that two to two again. Got two two assault squads. Oops. And repairing my P3 and uh, straight away 50 cal takes me out. So just waiting for the track. I really want to take out that uh, 50 cal. Maxim AA is so good in this uh, game, especially because the 50 cal has been improved by so much. So finally repaired. So that's a priority. Definitely focused on that, making sure that I get it as soon as it comes out. Just make sure it's efficient. Now put some line of sight and time for 50 cal hunting. Pesky shotgunners first. Very annoying. Now yeah, just um, trying to trying to get the secure the middle still, making sure I don't lose the three cap. So he's in the lead now, 24 to 13. Even though he's lost this croc, I just couldn't take out that 50 cal preventing me capping the flag and that PC was tracked for quite a while as well so she did a good, did a good job for slowing me down in fact as uh, caught that guy running away ah oh, shotgun is so annoying couldn't throw a grenade off there they go running priority target I really want to get, want to get my hands on that 50 cal right now <laughs> Just leaving a few guys to cap, and gonna push up forward. So got two flags once again, finally, which Anito doing quite well to get into the uh, leaderboard. Still got eyes on this spawn, so I know it's coming. Uh, but I'm quite wary now of that croc being alive and being repaired. So I'm gonna try assault that right now, actually, to try and destroy it for good. But then the croc, the other Sherman comes out, so I back away a bit. I was gonna take it out, but I saw this guy is probably need to come to action now because this is a priority target right now. So I do take out his engine. With the new version unfortunately it doesn't go flaming anymore. Pretty much 100% chance it seems that it doesn't go flaming. It used to go flaming nearly all the time. So now a, bit, a big opportunity for me to destroy that uh, croc once and for all. Dynamite styles. It's in the deep in deep into spawn, so it can quite easily be repaired by the enemy, I'm quite sure. So I've got to take it out quickly. So lucky I put it in DC, and I was it was in my hand when my infantry died, so it does get the kill. Yep, so that's dead for good. Um, yeah, so just holding two flags. And he's sending a M16 there, and oh, my troops are massacred, but it's just a Volstrom force, not too worried. Waiting for my 2 to be repaired. Once it's repaired, I was going to assault that flag, but for the meantime, I need to take out the M16. While that croc's dead, I'm going to try assault. Um, flank him with that other Brandenburg I had in the other side. See, I do spread out the Brandenburgers quite a bit, just to uh, ensure it can cover all areas, just in case the croc goes the other way. Um, that's pretty much standard play from, from I guess, what should be standard play. Expecting the croc from USA and the Brandenburg is to counter. As my Maxim AA moved there for no reason, probably because I clicked on something else. And, um, after I clicked on that Maxim AA and moved it, so it's just so laggy right now, it's um, really annoying. But uh, both of us are having the lag. Really hope they do fix the performance. Oh, wow. So he got one shot off, just one shot. Brandenburger, oh, misses, oh, hits him, but hits the angle, so hit the angle of the back. It didn't do too well. Ran into a one shot gunner, halts my advance entirely. And I think Chinita's gonna start to assault the Western. So at this stage, I've lost a tank battle. I don't wanna buy a tank to fight a head on clash with it, with uh, that croc, because he's got the infantry uh, fight too. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just try dominate him with infantry. Another one shot there, Chinita, really frustrating me there. 
I'm wasting a bit of micro there myself on that little guy there. Probably shouldn't have done that. So I've got the majority of flags in your paratroopers on the western side just to make sure I can hold it for a bit longer. I want to just get the majority of flags up to me for as long as possible. Because that I'm not too scared of that uh, Sherman. I'm more scared of a croc than a Sherman because that croc will be in danger if it tries to assault me um, head on. So I'm quite confident I can hold this flag now with paratroopers versus um, his normal infantry. Just to hold the flags, stick up the flag majority, center's going down to me, eastern is going down to me I, I believe. But uh, here comes the Sherman. Oh no, it's not Brandenburger. See, Brandenburger's got the weight of the cap once it takes it out. They're playing an infantry domination uh, type type thing now. It's not going to tanks, it's going to try to hold the points of infantry. Um, hoping he doesn't get a 50 cal, uh, which is coming now with the Maxim. But hoping he doesn't get a half track with the other side. But with the paras, you can quite um, you can be quite confident that the para will knock out the gunner. Yep. So I don't think they they can they can't do much on the on the right versus my paras. Um, he'll he'll lose a lot of troops basically charging on it. And the um, the maximum is not firing for some reason too. So that secured me. So oh, might be an opportunity here for me. No. So I got the um, eastern point quite secure. So I'm thinking of just holding the eastern point now really strongly. I've sent the full para squads and the split up the para squads on the right too. So I've kind of given up on the right because of the Maxim AA and the Sherman. I'm just going to let those guys hold till they die. And I'm expecting it to die soon. So I'm going to control now the eastern point. Just trying to root out that unit. So eastern point's very secure. Now I'm going to defend the eastern point from the center. And at this stage, I'm just playing a defensive, I guess, spotting defense on the western side, just having some infantry there just to spot. And I'm just putting a P3 up now just to defend against um, hard tracks. So I've given up on the right, it's going to be a bit hard to take with the Maxim AA plus um, the croc there. I'll have to spend quite big to take out that um, Sherman uh, to get a H, but I'm not really, not really in the mood to counter that. I want to just control the flags, control the map at the moment. So Eastern's going to be hard to take. And going to P3 also allows me to defend the Eastern and the center from any light vehicles, which is the only thing that the paras are going to be threatened by it. Well, um, I guess the most deadly thing the paras can be threatened by. I'm not scared of tanks, so just putting a line of sight everywhere on my back front, and I'm going to plan to hold the map from the left-hand side to center. So I was putting my MGs in positions here, 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 and a bit in back front there, so guys coming from the center here, coming to center from here, will get killed, and anyone coming from down here will be killed by the paras with the MGs over here. Because at this stage of the game, um, he doesn't um, have, I suppose, that much CP to go in light infantry. So if he starts keeps on spamming the regulars, I'll have no problem dealing with them. So he's attacking from the right hand side, priority target the maxim. So I've got a pretty nice foothold in this area. See, these are your light troops, paras, um, holding the area here. So I'm quite confident they can hold this infantry attacking. So just got to get the maximum AA down. And Crocky, you can see the angle here. It's a pretty good angle. If if I was able to get a bit further, I would have angled it a bit more, just behind that house. Um, it's hit my side front, but it's still hitting my side front, and it's not penetrating because it's my side front. I uh, wish if I was if I could have gone a bit more further back, would have been much more safer. Wouldn't have been decrewed like that. So the purpose of the P3 just to take out the light tanks, and paras are holding quite well alone. So still the majority of flares going to tick up to me. Gonna try my luck with APC around in the AS1 version. I wasn't sure it was gonna work or not because this version is different. Aimed a bit too high there, just a bit too laggy, and I was really focused on taking out that Greyhound out. Definitely the priority. So just not DCing, letting the AI do it because it's, it's just much more accurate than me in, in this kind of uh, latency. And the fleet PC perf. So he did actually sneak through. My priority now, just to root him out with the grenades. Not sure why I went a regular that time. I, in hindsight, I probably would have gone on assault squad because I didn't actually use the MG at all properly. It was quite um, an awkward DC moment at this stage. Okay, 
kill this own troop there. Just taking out the cover. It's fun. Surprising this piece is lasting this long. At least I tracked him there. So just wait as a cap now. Paras are out capping the unit that's in there. Just going to try a PC around at the bottom of the hull. No, still lagging. Um, so yep, he's got my P3. I definitely need something now again. I see a Greyhound coming. I need something quickly. Just going a P3 again. Just for the purpose of taking out that out. Not to kill the croc. Or I can kill the croc from the side, possibly too. But uh, I don't think I get lucky this time. So just taking out the Greyhound quickly. Keep the cap in the center. Bringing up some paras from the left to the middle because I'm. He hasn't attacked the left, so I think this is the time. I definitely need the firepower. Greyhound's down. Let the I.I. do the job. I didn't stay in the micro. I didn't stay in DC for long. So the, the half tracks there stopping the blow, but I'm going to try to take it aside from here. Ah, oh, and I got tracked in a bad, decent, pretty bad position. So um, I don't have confidence in that. So I'm not going to waste DC on that. It's probably going to be dead soon. I'm going to focus on holding the center now because there's not many points there. Four more points. So I can just hold the center for a bit longer. I'm in a pretty decent stead to do so with my elite troops. Elite troops. Waiting on the vet tiger as well. I know that's coming. Once that that is out, I don't think um, Chinito can stop um, stop uh, the armored advance. So quite comfortable at the stage, but quite a um, a tough hold at, at the moment. It's awkwardly the MG was in there. Half track coming at the flank. I really don't want to buy it in, in something else. I should have maybe in hindsight bought the Oswin a bit earlier or the Wibblewin to take that out. So to stop that um, half track killing everything. But uh, I, I was waiting for that Tiger to bring him out at the same time so it could be protected. But really, I could have taken out that half track um, with that. While the Croc uh, was not able to range on me. So I definitely would have bought the Wibble, uh, not Wibblewerfer, the. The Oswind. So I got the Tiger now. Taking out the Wibblewind. Should I would have got an Oswind because that would also prevent uh, Stuarts and Chaffees. In fact, it can penetrate them. Uh, I shouldn't have uh, noticed there's infantry. So quite paranoid. I buy infantry at the same time. Single infantry. Just around me, just in case. Could have been a disaster there. Single infantry buyers, just moving them around. Uh, Wibble will have no problems with this uh, vehicle. Yeah, I think it was Wibble worth for it. The 20mm can't penetrate the Stuart or the Stuart or the um, Chaffee at frontal range. So, it's a problem there. So, he's actually capped the back and almost a 3 cap on me, but I'm in good stead to push back with um, the Veteran Tiger. And the Wibble on the left should have no problems with the squad there. But he does have a few guys behind there, I actually underestimated. Just ran straight in there. I didn't. I thought there was only one guy there. But then uh, once you actually go in, I noticed uh, four guys there. And <laughs> my entire squad gets mowed down. So I'd um, yep, take him out priority, run straight in there, get the flag. Uh, it's a priority target. 46-34, it's a very close game so far. Um, so I had to really change my, my type of play in this game, controlling the left and mid flag. So it's not all about winning the tank engagements, or uh, you can ignore tanks in fact. So in fact, the, that tank wasn't that heavy, but the Sherman wasn't that heavy, but I, I ignored it, and ignoring it uh, scored me basically a victory almost. Um, but and it definitely enabled me to, I guess, be comfortable now to push this flag and capture it and hold it for only a little while. Four more points to go. Um, not expecting anything Chinita can field um, to take the Tiger out at all, as long as I have some line of sight around that Tiger. Um, so on the eastern side, uh, it's quite secure with the Wibble. No infantry will be able to penetrate that with the Wibble Werfer. Well, Wibble Wind, sorry. And... Um, I can see a Greyhound coming here, Chinito. So just trying to cap the center still, take it out, so quite comfortable now that uh, victory, but Chinito did get close, uh, 40 to 50. Um, I did also have some really epic games with uh, Chinito um, after this one in round 2, 
So hopefully you can watch that. It was actually cl uh, yeah, really, really close um, as well. But really have to dig deep with the strategies. Not not standard counters here. It's pretty much um, I guess ignoring and map control as well on this map. Now playing with no DC is playing with Little Chinito. You can <laughs> yeah, good good idea on how to play without direct controlling uh, when you're playing. But uh, I, d I didn't actually notice this that Chinito got a radio up and. Um, I think that's what his strategy was. He wanted to track me with the ground and track me with the chaffy and then throw the radio up on me. That's uh, first shot there, takes turrets, and there goes the wibble. So now um, the eastern side's actually in jeopardy, so I have to actually move my tiger out quickly to the left. So it's not definitely not over now because my, the chaffy took out my wibble. I could lose the left side. Um, and I've only got one infantry there, um, so I have to move my tiger up really fast quickly. I need the paras for some additional assault. My MP solution, my MP um, count isn't looking too bad now. 200 is pretty decent. I can buy a squad quite easy to reinforce. Um, well, really needed more sight for my tiger there. So still decapped. Here comes his squad to capture it. So Chichito is still fighting, he's really really a big fighter, he's not uh, giving up yet, even though I've got the things in the field, so same thing uh, with me. He's trying the map control now, trying to capture another flag that I don't have my tiger in. This is one thing I don't like about the new maps in AS2, they're too small. You can't do things like this, you can't win from um, situations where you're down. Pretty much it's a frontal battle and you won't be able to win the game by avoiding, uh, basically. Lots of action. Um, but no avoidance. This is actually one of the biggest gripes actually from the map. It actually reduces the, the depth of strategy where you can't decide to map control, you can't decide to avoid things. You have to always attack it frontally. Um, that's actually probably the biggest thing in gameplay that I'm going to dislike in AS2. Uh, default maps. You can't think your way out of a situation. So, um, Rochinito, uh, still fighting really, really good. Um, 43, 46, unbelievably close. But I think that spells the end for him pretty much after that Chaffee gets killed. And I've got the Paras now to hold the flag. And I've still got quite a bit of MP to reinforce some more Paras. That's still throwing the radio up at me. Spells, spells the end of Chinito. So hopefully, uh, yeah, ch check out the next game. It's, it was definitely, it's actually a very, very, very good game, the next one. I uh, won't give away too much. And, um, yeah, hopefully I get through.